few days ago, I did a video about marine traffic, particularly in the channel, uh, you know, the movement of ships going backwards and forwards. And I compared it to the use of tracking software uh, that we use in, well, particularly my industry, having a look at the path of flights in between two fixed points. You can do it all on your mobile phone. And there is a there is a piece of software equivalent where you can track the movements of ships in the ocean. Now, there is a version of this I use to look at the uh, departures and arrivals of ships coming in and out of Southampton when I need to go down there. Every single ship out there has what's called a transponder, a lot like an aircraft does, in the, it, its position, its heading, its speed, and other information about it can be picked up by these systems. Now, I received a message in email form from somebody who said that they're an ex-sailor who spotted something particularly odd about the lifeboat coming out of Dover, of all places. And it revolved around the use of this uh, positioning system. I want to show you the email now, obviously taking his name off because I want to preserve his identity. Very interesting what he spotted. Okay. Hi, Andy. As an ex-sailor, I have knowledge of the Marine AIS system. This is a system that can map the position, direction, and speed of a vessel at sea. This system can be used by ground-based receivers and be displayed on a website, i.e. marine traffic, which can show the tracks over a few days. And that's exactly how I explained it at the beginning of this. Now, I have noticed for many years that I have used the site that the lifeboat vessels never turn off their AIS system, even when they're moored. However, I've noticed that Dover Lifeboat MNSI number 23200 that doesn't mean anything to me, maybe somebody can clarify that, had their system turned off since Sunday evening. It was momentarily turned on uh, on the 4th of March at 16.51, then off again when in Dover Harbour, therefore not showing their position or tracks when the vessel has left the harbour. Who's ordered the switching off the AIS system and why? What are they hiding? Well, if we're to go down that route, I do wonder whether when they're in the harbour, Dover Harbour is quite big, they might not want the actual position of the lifeboat tracked while they're offloading, I suppose. And when they leave the harbour, they might not want the position of the lifeboat tracked when they're out at sea. Now, I remember my original video uh, from a few days ago where it showed a French vessel picking up uh, somebody a couple of miles off the French coast going out to the line where you cross over to British territorial waters, looking like it was handing something over to someone, and then off they go. But on the actual track, it didn't show any other vessel. So that, coupled with this this email as well, explains it all. You, you know, they obviously don't want the movements, for whatever reason, showing up on that track. You tell me. Uh, you know... The plot absolutely thickens. It really does. Let me know what you think of this in the comments below. If you want to see another one of my videos, there's one for you. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Toodaloo.